This video is to demonstrate our project for the course Information Integration on the Web at USC. The project is building a semantic network of recipes and ingredients. As evident from the title, uh, our project involves uh, scraping recipes and ingredients and combining them together in an ontology. Our semantic network can be explained in the following five basic steps. The first is a scrapper, which is used for extraction of data from websites. The second are scripts for pre-processing the data and getting it cleaned and ready for linking. The third step is record linkage using the software Frill. The fourth step is creating an ontology in the software Karma. And the fifth step are modules for calculation of nutrition and substitution of ingredients from the cleaned and linked data. We will now demonstrate our project in a form of a user interface which demonstrates all these steps in further detail. So let's start by searching for a recipe. Let's say we want to search for garlic chicken. When you click the get recipes button, we get a list of the top results of uh, recipes related to garlic and chicken. Here we have limited the search to give only the top five results. Each of these results gives a title, a preparation time and a list of ingredients for the recipe which provides a neat summary for each of the recipes. Let's look at one of the recipes in detail. For example, the garlic cheddar chicken recipe. We are redirected to, to a new page which details this recipe. Now the recipe has things like the title, the preparation time again, and a detailed list of ingredients with its weight, weights and metrics, as also a list of the preparation steps. Uh, now each of these ingredients has been linked to a URL in the semantic network. For example, freshly catered parmesan cheese has a URI as can be seen from the hover text. So uh, also the weights and the metrics have been standardized. For example, 0.5 cups has been converted to milliliters like 118 milliliters. This has been done so that the calculation of nutrition and uh, substitution can be done in a consistent manner. Uh, now we can look at the nutrition cal calculator uh, in our UI. Uh, we can do this by clicking the calculate nutrition button as you can see this uh, gives the calories carbohydrates and fats for each of the ingredients uh, for ex uh, for example uh, parmesan cheese has uh, so many calories uh, carbohydrates and fats but salt has zero we can also see that uh, chicken breast has has no uh, values because we could not find this uh, nutrition in our database However, out of all the ingredients present, it calculates a sum of each of these uh, three columns. Uh, let's compare it to a standard uh, uh, ingredient uh, nutrition calculator. We can look uh, here. We have en entered the ingredient list along with the quantities. If we look at the, if we analyze the recipe, we can see the calorie count is 3047. However, as we saw that uh, we did not include chicken in our calculations, so we can exclude it here as well and uh, check what the uh, nutritional value is. As you can see, the calorie count went to 1,927 which is very close to what we predicted which is 1912. Uh, now we can have a look at the substitution mechanism. Uh, here are a list of ingredients that are present in our recipe. For example, let's look at dry bread crumbs. This can be substituted with, by a variety of uh, ingredients like cracker crumbs crushed, crush, crushed cornflakes or potato chips crushed. Uh, let's actually look at the um, substitution mechanism by substituting garlic minced by garlic powder. When you click the substitution button, you can see that the garlic powder uh, 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 name and the URI has changed along with its weight and the nutritional value which has resulted in a different nutritional value as a whole. Thank you for taking the time to look at our demo.